Leave campaigners may have played the anti-immigration card to the point at times of overt racism, and they did. But 17 million Leave voters were not racist. Not even in many cases were they anti-immigration. But the present and the future, of course, matter much more than the past. However much we might like to, we can't turn the clock back. So how do things stand today, one month on? Well, firstly and most obviously, we have a new Prime Minister and a new UK government. But we don't yet have any clear explanation of what a Leave vote means in practice. If we can read anything from the early signs, whether from government appointments or initial pronouncements, it is, though I hope I'm wrong about this, that the UK is heading towards a hard rather than a soft Brexit. A future outside the single market with only limited access and significant restrictions on free movement. But while Brexit means Brexit is intended to sound like a strong statement of intent, it is in truth just a soundbite that masks, masks a lack of any clear sense of direction.